immediately they left their nets and followed him. Mark 1, verse 18. When they heard the call of Jesus, Simon and Andrew obeyed at once without hesitation. If we would always, punctually, and with resolute zeal, put in practice what we hear upon the spot or at the first fit occasion, our attendance at the means of grace and our reading of good books could not fail to enrich us spiritually. He will not lose his loaf who has taken care at once to eat it. Neither will he be deprived of the benefit of doctrine who has already acted upon it. Most readers and hearers become moved to decide to take action, but alas, the proposal is a blossom that has not been knit, and therefore no fruit comes of it. They wait, they waver, and then they forget, till like the ponds in the nights of frost, when the sun shines by day, they are only thawed in time to be frozen again. That fatal tomorrow is blood red with the murder of fair resolutions. It is the slaughterhouse of the innocents. We are very concerned that our little book of evening readings should not be fruitless, and therefore we pray that readers may not be readers only, but doers of the word. The practice of the truth is the most profitable reading of it. Should the reader be impressed with any duty while perusing these pages, let him hasten to fulfill it before the holy glow has departed from his soul, and let him leave his nets and all that he has sooner than be found rebellious to the master's call. Do not give place to the devil by delay. Haste while opportunity and quickening are in happy partnership. Do not be caught in your own nets, but break the meshes of worldliness and away where glory calls you. Happy is the rider who shall meet with readers resolved to carry out his teachings. His harvest shall be a hundredfold, and his master shall have great honor. Would to God that such might be our reward upon these brief meditations and hurried hence. Grant it, O Lord, unto thy servant. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. Mark 1, verse 18.